Hi, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. What the F happened last night? I thought for some reason we were going to be Harry and Megan free 2023. What happened? I was Nancy done Sidley. with those two. Politico came out with a article. Yes. Written by Joanna Weiss. The year of the narcissist and how we're like done with all these people. And it had like Kanye on there. It had Trump. It had Elizabeth Holmes, which was a really good It had call. Elon Musk, you know, Elon and, and people. And it had Meghan Markle, which is very true because after this Netflix series, holy cow, it proved what a narcissist she is. So what do you think happened yesterday? The, the Sussex PR squad went crazy on every single person that thought it was a good idea for her to make the list. And be on the cover. And be on the cover. This made them angry. So they, of course, went to the woman who wrote the article, Joanna Weiss. The woman who wrote the article, her name's Joanna Weiss, okay? So obviously all the Sussex Squad people went after her. They went on her Twitter page, they attacked her looks. Uh, they attacked her uh, culture. They said she had a big nose. Uh, no, they were implying that she was Jewish and she has a big nose. That's what they were yeah. implying. And as somebody who has actually had that happen to her like five million times where I actually walked, I was an actress a long time ago and I walked into an audition once and the casting director literally said, oh, you're perfect because you look just like the family because they're Jewish too. This is Mrs. McKenzie. Hello. Hello. And these are the girls, Allison and Liz. Hi. And so I, I, I understand the, the nose thing. So this, so this article sparked outrage with the Sussex squad, obviously, because they're whiny little bitches and they, they have an issue with anyone who, you know, talks poorly about Meghan Markle. What's interesting to me is this is an article. It, it, it's freedom of the press. Never seen people freak out over freedom of speech, the First Amendment, freedom of the press before in my entire life. I've never seen that happen before in my life. This is insane. Uh, Politico, <laughs> they ended up taking it down from Twitter, but they kept it up on the website. Well, that pissed them off even more. Well, th this is the thing. They thought it was a tiny little victory for them. They were like, see, we got him to take it down. Which was wrong, Politico. Yeah, you should have kept it up. Yeah. They actually did retweet it then. And they, they put a picture of Elon. Yeah, they put a picture of the Elon. They took Megan out of the uh, out of the actual well, picture. Luckily, Elon has a thick skin. <laughs> yeah, he does. Um, Poor guy has to. So this did not stop them from uh, going after Joanna White. She is not tweeted for 24 hours obviously because they're just going after everything so stephanie was mad no this made mad. stephanie mad well no i just I, it just sucks that that they had to take it down because megan markle is a narcissist she is a narcissist she is a huge narcissist so i don't know why they would even take it'd be it, weird it's weird to say she's not a narcissist what she was doing was writing an article with actual proof of why she, Megan is a narcissist, why Trump is a narcissist, why Elizabeth Holmes is a narcissist. And it was just, it was an opinion piece. Everyone has the right to free speech. We are in America, right, Nancy? I thought last we were. Time I last checked. time I mean, yeah. unless I'm speaking Last Andrew. time I checked, Megan and Harry had to flee the UK to because the press was so intrusive. Yeah, so- To come to America where where uh, the press is just so much nicer and if we Harry, don't have tabloids. Yeah, exactly. If Harry and Meghan had any class, they would denounce the Sussex squad for their vile behavior. They went from death threats to anti-Semitism in less than 24 hours. And that is the truth. We have proof. People were attacking me. People went on to my Instagram page and looked at private photos. Nancy and I celebrate Hanukkah and Christmas. We celebrate both in our house. People saw that, took it, started talking about uh, our ancestors, started talking about um, they, the Holocaust. I mean, just vile, this vile. This is a word to the wise. Whenever you're having an argument with someone, don't ever compare it to the Holocaust. No. There is absolutely 
nothing greater than what happened to the Jews in the Holocaust. Do not compare the plight of Meghan Markle and the Sussex squad. The threat it turned into actual threats. Well, the threats, well, they delete, they had, actually Twitter deleted the threats, but the threats were, um, they had pictures of Holocaust, Holocaust victims. And they said, um, you Jews have short memories, right? Basically implying, you know, this is what this we can is do what to you. This is what we can do to you. Then they, then they sent pictures what? of children and women, um, and they said Jews shouldn't, shouldn't never forget what happened to them. I mean, they have grammar issues too, and they can't spell very well. This is the thing, guys. The, these are all people with their bio saying Sussex Squad, Meghan Markle fan. These are all, and I don't know if they're paid. Are they paid? I don't know, but this has Chris Boozy. Oh. This is uh, Dr. Shola. This and is all we did, all we did, and and Joanna Weiss too, and everyone else is call out the obvious that Meghan Markle is a narcissist. narcissist. That's all we did, and we and we backed it up with proof. I'm not a journalist, but at least I come with research. And they all have fake names and no profile picture, which is terrifying. The conclusion that we came up with is they lost. Oh, they totally lost. They don't want to take the L. The Netflix thing was a complete disaster. It was a complete disaster because what it what it happened was you had a bunch of Americans who were kind of on the fence about them watch it and then go, oh my God, these two are the biggest whiny narcissists okay. on the planet. And so the people that they kind of had, I mean, I mean, they've lost America. America's oh, they done. Lost, they, yeah. We're they done. Lost, after the Oprah interview, We're they, done. Lost, they lost us after the We're Oprah done. interview. The Sussex squad are going around now on Twitter saying, that's not racist, the, the Holocaust pictures. They're basically saying, how is that racist? Well, here's the thing. I'm screenshotting what's racist about it, explaining it to them numerous times, and they still don't get it. I went on, they went online and they, they went on my Instagram. picture of her kid, and, and they said, um, they call, well, first of all, they called her a Zionist writer. She, by, what, because she supports Israel? There's nothing wrong with supporting Israel. I support Israel. Who cares? Every, uh, that's our opinion. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be vilified for it. It's just scary so when they, they call start her taking Zionist, personal. Right? That's, that's dangerous because you've got the, the yeah. And then um, they say the Zionist writer, Joanna Weiss, put Megan in the same box as racist, anti-Semitic, apartheid, and Nazi-loving thieves, grifters, and insurrectionists, money launder and scam. And then they called her an ugly B word. <sighs> what? Yeah, this is this is the level of this education. Is, this that is their on. fans. These are the people you want in your corner. It's not just a couple of people. There's like hundreds of them, hundreds of bots. Oh, and then at one point, one person said about you and I, these two women who thought it was good to harass on YouTube should think what hate did to their ancestors. And then pictures and then of pictures children. of the Holocaust. That's insane. First of all, we didn't harass them. Go through the video. Yeah, you all can we go did through was it. talk. Yeah, we made fun of them in a joking manner by debunking their their lies. They you know lie how easy the it whole... is to debunk their lies. No, it's just the whole thing is ridiculous so, and it's sad. And every single time someone writes that, someone like me or Nancy or someone else who has a brain goes, "Why are you not? Why do you not have a picture? Why do you not have a name?" And they all say the same thing. We just don't want to get harassed by <laughs> by you people. Well, what are you doing to us? You're you're going into private. Somebody was nice enough to write, "Oh no, don't worry. The Jews haven't forgotten what happened to them." They put it in quotes. In fact, they remind us every effing damn day about it 24/7. Last night of Hanukkah was last night too. Yeah, that's oh awful. Oh my God, Richard Richard Akuzan. Um, I'm incensed, and words are failing to express my rage. How dare Joanna Weiss and Politico dub Meghan Markle a narcissist for speaking against racism? and in defense of her globally maligned character and how dare they lump her in the list containing truly despicable criminals. This, this is, is what thing. this is what they're she doing. She did not speak out against racism because she had no proof to back it up. If she's going to speak out against racism, fine. I'll join her in the fight. But 
what racism is she speaking out against? I, I mean, the anti-Semitism that's going on in this country right now, I'd be terrified. The Sussex Squad has a podcast and oh, they wrote yeah. this. I've heard. The These Derangers people... are mad they, can, they can't come on our platform to spew hate. Yes, we moderate every single comment like we told the tro trolls on Facebook. If you come on our platform, you lose your right to privacy. We will find you, call your jobs, contact your families, <laughs> etc. Try it. That's a threat. Call our job. I'm, I'm calling our family right now to, te to tell them before the Sussex squad gets, gets to them first. Yeah, just, just, just say we're coming back. Oh, you know, I think they're at the doctor. Okay. Come no, back. but I mean, I don't understand why a threat like that. I feel bad for the people that do have jobs that like, they do like go in there. I mean, the only thing you could probably find on us is that we are the owners of Picture Perfect. And if you want, uh, we're not tech it. Or if you dad. want yeah but if you want um any uh pictures scans anything please go to our website pictureperfect-pdx.com um, and uh we have a wonderful concierge service and we'll take really good care of you <laughs> and all of portland if you want to know we don't like megan markle no yeah, she's so a narcissist so you can she's tell them Please check out our website. We just dox ourselves. We just dox ourselves. <laughs> All right. So um, that was it. We just wanted to come on here. The pictures are disturbing, obviously. The pictures are disturbing. I think they took them all down. Stephanie took No, they didn't. They haven't taken all the... All Not all of them, them, no. Oh, God. Okay. I think the best thing for us to do is ignore it. Because yeah, let's ignore this it. is really an uncharted territory. No, we've got two pit bulls and, and cameras all over <laughs> okay, our house. Okay, enough. Lady, come here. Don't give up, guys. Meghan Markle is a narcissist. Yes. It's not that Do big not of a deal. Do not let them bully Win. you. Do bully. not let them bully you. Come on, lady. And the Sussex come Squad, here. they, they here. hate Jewish people, apparently. Yeah. So. As always, you should go to, um, and I'm putting, I'm putting the You're website up. I'm putting the website up right now. Um, this time for um, an L.A. County um, shelter. There are so many dogs at these shelters right now that need homes. I wish I could adopt them all. Unfortunately, you have to live in the state to do it. So anybody in California right now, please go to this website, foster okay. a dog, do something. Hey, having a pit bull is the greatest thing in the world. We've got two and, uh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, we'll be that, back with our year in we'll review. We'll be back with our year in review. Actually a person on, on Twitter today, uh, one of the Sussex squad people and they were like, they were like, you should report me to the FBI if you're See, so scared of me. They, that's it's like thing. they want to be reported. You know, it's crazy. That's another weird thing. I noticed that like they go, there's like, there's like this. Well, they weird, want the attention. They want the attention. Weird, that's what they want. There's this weird TikTok uh, thing. And I really hope they get rid of TikTok. I, I don't believe in censorship, but she TikTok talks. is really bad for you. So, okay. um, but there's a lot of TikTokers out there that are always like, I've, I've reported you to the FBI for doing what? This is Twitter. You think I'm going to call the FBI or the police and tell them that some person with a fake name and <laughs> an avatar is mad at me because I don't like Molly McDoodle. Do you know how <laughs> dumb that sounds? Yeah, come on then. Like, seriously, get over yourself. Christopher Boozy's making threats. He's like, we're going to make a documentary about... Um, how how uh, people are there's coordinated attack at, on YouTubers. Go ahead, go ahead. No one will watch it, on, but you should. Okay. We'll be back with our year Bye. in review very soon, and uh, go adopt a dog.